<laughs> Man, hashtag team one take. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so um, a couple days ago, I made that video saying a slow death for the PlayStation Vita, where I kind of outlined all the kind of mistakes that's been happening with releases that are supposed to come to PS4 and PS Vita. If you want to know more about that, uh, go ahead check that video out right now. Anyways, in that video, I had mentioned something about Resident Evil Revelations 2, and it's kind of like Two days after the video or something like that, they made a post about Resident Evil Revelations 2 uh, PS Vita because before this, they had we had no update on whatsoever on you know the the deal that was happening with the PS Vita version. So, um, there. This is the kind of stuff we want. We want them to be doing this stuff. You know, they want, we want us to be updated. And as I was, as the few days have been going by, I've, I've also even thought about another. Um, kind of situation that's happening it's still happening is road not taken um i actually think it's not even coming to the vita at all anymore but at one point they announced it for ps4 and ps vita from the start and then they released ps4 version and like oh v vita and then like i think people kept asking asking and then in the comments again they were like oh vita version is coming this time and i'm not sure but i feel like they canceled it because it's it's like it's been a year now not a year but this was like mid 2014 whenever road not taken was first announced so <laughs> i'm not I'm sure if that's coming anymore. anyway that's off topic anyways back on to topic so yeah they made a post about the the um situation with resident evil for the ps vita version so um a little post again i saw on silicon era where they actually uh they 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 kind of explained who Freema Studio is, who is the studio that is going to be working on this port. So I'm having mixed thoughts on this because one it says Freema Studio, Canadian studio that has worked primarily on smartphone and web games. Like what? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Nowlistic. I don't know if they they made smartphone games or what. All, all I know is that, that they kind of just port stuff and you saw what happens when we got a kind of amateur studio to do that not even amateur now let's take it really isn't amateur they're just i don't know they 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 kind of ah i don't know how to say it man i don't i don't want to say something wrong and everyone attacks me so i'm just gonna leave it at you know whatever they didn't do the greatest port or the greatest games for call of duty or resistance that was a studio we didn't really know about freeman studio not a studio we were very familiar with and they they make smartphone games of course smartphone games <laughs> these days are actually really good so far like the graphic wise i mean like the mortal kombat x um uh phone game actually looks very nice like so you know that's another thing so we gotta keep that in mind but you know they're not working with a whole lot but I mean, that, that makes it look good though because they're not you know they don't they don't have a whole lot of power to work with and they still make the things work, you know, play it nicely and look good. So, you know, we, th th a lot of things can happen from this. And another thing that makes me a little bit more, um, how do you say, confident and kind of not too scared is the fact that they're talking about they're going to actually have some Vita uh, exclusive content in the game. Um, okay, it's just one thing, but that's cool. They're going to have uh, gyroscopic aiming. And so that's cool. And they did mention that, there, that, that there's going to be a raid mode in this game, and that raid mode will be present, but not at launch. They said that just so they can get it out quicker, which is like you know understandable. Me myself, I'm not the biggest you know, Resident Evil. Okay, I'm not a Resident Evil fan at all. I barely even know what the game looks like, to be completely honest with you. That's sort of why I never cover it. But as you know these days these times are hard you know we're all struggling with with the vita games like as in triple a so you know any type of news like literally no matter whether whether i like a game or not i'm probably gonna find a news of some type of if there is a triple a game i'm probably gonna see about it because it, it's gonna be a huge deal you know what i mean whenever there's any triple a game that comes out for the vita it's a humongous deal you know uh it's not it's not we don't we don't we don't mess around with that kind of news because any any triple a game is a good triple a game you know what i mean so i just thought i kind of you know touch base on that like i said i've never really covered resident evil at all so i thought oh this is the perfect time to let you guys know i want to hear what you guys think about freema studio as well uh actually i'm about to pop over to their site right now if they have a site let me see freema studio i'm just gonna google them see what happens yeah 
Mass yeah, they're a Canadian. Dude, their site isn't even in English. That's crazy. They're because they're Canadian developers. All right, so. Oh, wow. I mean, the site looks nice, but I mean, the fact that it wasn't even in flipping English kind of is a little weird, you know? A little weird. I don't really know what to think about that, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? But, uh, I see they made Zombie Tycoon 2. Uh, Half the Sky, the game. Bro, I just literally read the, that book in my one class. That's crazy. They make it a. Alright, I'm closing this, but I don't even know what to think about that. But okay, at the bottom I see 2014. I don't know if they're new, if they're, like they're new like that or what. Anyways, um, the games, yeah, the games they were they were making, they definitely look like web games and smartphone games. So you know, little little iffy, you know, just just thought I'd let you guys know, a little iffy about the, that whole scandal because, you know, how great is it gonna be? You know, they're going from web games and um, like you know, mini web games, not like big web games, and uh, f smartphones to you know a handheld you know a very powerful handheld at that the, the smartest thing that in that could fit in your hand to this date you know they're going to be working with that so hopefully you know they, they they understand how to use you know unity and all that stuff hopefully i'm pretty sure they'll be pretty yeah i think that's why they probably got them because web games usually use unity so like like you know many way web games use unity so i know you know <clears throat> we'll see what happens we'll see what happens with this port and <clears throat> when it went on upon release, you know, I'll take a look at it, see what's, you know, see what's going on with it, you know. And then, uh, yeah, whenever it comes out, I'll probably, you know, make a video about, you know, how it turned out, my thoughts. And, you know, I'll get another video just to, so you guys can tell me what your thoughts are as well. So, yeah, like I said, let me know what your thoughts are on this studio, on this port. You know, how's it, how, what do you think, how do you think it's going to turn out? And you know, do you, are you scared? Are you excited? And you know, what's going on? You know, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Anyways, uh, yeah. So I'll see you guys next time. And uh, yeah, bye bye.